Everybody watch the pixels blend. Now it's time to dive into one of the most important functionalities for making use of AI for architectural imagery, and this is the control nets. We are doing this with the SDXL version that I prepared. Here you see you are using an asset that I provided. This asset is rendered out from a rendering engine, and this is due to this has the highest quality and ability to control what you are going to use. To guide the AI visually for our purpose to generate images. Again, we are using the KJ nodes from Kijai in this workflow to resize our input image uh, to this resolution over here. And when you provided the asset and uh, your workflow looks like this, then you're good to go to just generate an image. And you should see something comparable um, to the output over here. You may have seen comparable images that I have created, and this basically is the foundation in doing so. And from this foundation, you are now free to explore what you can do. Um, maybe you want to put something in that you have created with the preprocessors over here. You adjust the prompt over there, and then you generate your images. And we are looking into the same functionality for the Flux model now. And for this, we are using the control net Flux Dev. You can also choose the Kenny. It's basically the same, just another input. Opening it um, like you used to and just hit generate to see what it does. Please be aware that the control nets for Flux, even this is the newest version available, um, they are not as good as for the SDXL in terms of control, but they are really useful for our purpose. Going. Going. Render frames now. Render frames now. Render frames now. Design dreams and visions clear. As you can see here, um, please be aware the seat in this workflow is fixed. But if you, for example, compare these settings to the one from the SDXL workflow, you will notice a heavy difference also in terms of what exactly will be visible after you use an input like we did before. And as I said before, the next workflow, which is the control net flux Kenny, it looks very the same. It's just another method to visual guide the image generation. In this case, we are using some kind of a line art as an input. And like before, we just load everything up and we just hit generate to see what this does. <laughs> Build it to skyscrape desire. Bites and bits. Ignite the fire. From code to vision, towers rise. And just compare this output to what we generated before, especially in terms of the details that are provided by the line art over here. As usual, you are invited to explore the, by changing the settings and changing the seat changing your inputs and the prompt. And I'm really looking forward to see your outputs from this workflow. For Flux, we have another option to do the same functionality. And this is basically the depth LoRa from the Flux tools. So by loading this, you should see this workflow over here. As you can see, we do not have a control net inside of this workflow, but we are loading the Flux LoRa created by Black Forest Labs. And this is basically the very same. Uh, just load it up, put on the asset that I provided and hit generate to see what this does.
As you can see here, this is probably the best option that is available for this functionality and you're free to explore the settings by changing the strength and the clip strength. And by doing so, you're basically able to explore it with your ideas and your inputs like every workflow that I've provided. And the last workflow that we are having a look into uh, from the ControlNet series, uh, this is the ControlNet Sketch Flux. So in this case, um, you are basically able to use a painting node to draw some sketches that are considered as visual guidance for the image generation afterwards. As you can see, um, this one is also a custom node that is installed here and uh, it's the ELECPAD custom nodes that you see here. This node brings the options that you know maybe from Windows Paint or similar programs to just draw something very quick. And you do this, for example, um, with a brush or some very basic forms like a rectangle or a circle, a line. And you can also uh, set this to be a smaller line, a thinner line, or you draw something with a free brush. When you're happy with what you created there, then you just hit generate and see what this rise. does. In tech we trust, In tech we trust. the dream of flies, virtual walls with perfect lines, GPU hums, art redefined, blueprint full. So it looks like some of the lines were respected, others weren't, but for me the result is already okay. And again, I'm very excited to see what you will be able to do with this. As I said in the beginning, this is a really crucial and important function to generate images for architecture. And I highly recommend to get busy with all the settings and experience it firsthand. In megabytes, megabyte. infinite possibilities, in virtual sites. Textures forms, landscapes alive, and digital realms, 